Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. This week is a little bit different because it's not a vlog. It is actually going to be a 15 minute mobility routine. As you saw in my last video, one of my big goals for 2022 is to get some form of movement every single day, whether that may be stretching, working out, walking, or doing a mobility routine. So I thought I would share this because I know some of you guys have the same goal as me. So when you're not wanting to work out, you can do this instead. How I like to incorporate my mobility days is on the days that I'm not working out, I'll use it as my active recovery slash rest day and do a 15 to 20 minute routine. A mobility routine is super important. And if you have never done one before, I recommend you to start now. It's really important that we stay mobile in all of our joints and our muscles. Really static stretching or stretching will help you lengthen the muscles but mobility will give you that greater range of motion so that you can perform better in your lifts in the gym but also you can move better as well so you're going to notice a lot of the exercises here are going to test how mobile you are in those joints meaning we're going to be testing your range of motion we're going to be trying to lengthen those and push it to a little bit of its limits when you're doing this you should not feel any pain or discomfort if you do just take a second rest and go at your own pace feel free to pause the video do it extra longer if you feel one side is a lot tighter than the other maybe you want to give the tighter side a little bit more attention and a little bit more time so if you do this more often i promise you you're gonna feel so much better you're gonna feel more loose more better in the gym you'll move better less pain and all the good stuff the only equipment you're gonna need is a band so you can use one of these ones you can use the infinity loops where it's just like one of those big circles. You can also use a towel or a t-shirt if you don't have any of those. They all work. We're not going to need it for every single thing, but just for some of the exercises. And I think that's it. So when you're ready, let's get started. The very first mobility exercise we're going to start with is ankle band point and flex. This is where we're going to take the band, a towel, or even a t-shirt and place it around the balls of your feet. And from here, holding the band with a little bit of resistance, we're going to point and flex our feet. So this is going to help improve the mobility in our ankles, but also stretch out our calves and hamstrings as we're doing this. I place the other foot underneath the knee so that the lift leg is lifted off the ground a little bit to give me a better range of motion and movement. And I did this side for about 30 seconds before switching to the other side. The second mobility exercise we're moving into is called shoulder send -downs. You can perform this on your knees as I'm showing here or you can do it against the wall. The objective is trying to make the biggest circle with your hands while keeping your shoulders as straightforward as you can. So as you can see here, I'm not trying to move that shoulder as I'm opening up the arm. You want to keep it square in front of you and inhaling as you bring the arm up and exhaling as you bring it back. I want you to take this exercise nice and slow and feel the stretch in that shoulder. It should not be painful if it is and make a smaller circle with your hands. The third exercise is also targeting your shoulder mobility. It is shoulder dislocates. So this is where you're going to use the band one more time or a towel or a t-shirt. You're gonna hold it nice and tight with both hands and you're gonna go all the way over the shoulder and all the way back to your lower back and repeat. I recommend you to go nice and slow here. If it is painful or you can't bring it all the way over, hold the band a little wider apart. Inhale as you bring it over and exhale as you bring it back. We're going to slowly move onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position and we're going to do some cat to cows. So I want you to inhale, bring the chest up, drop your belly button to the mat and feel the stretch opening up that chest. 
Then as you exhale, I want you to round that back, pulling your belly button up to the ceiling and tucking that chin in. You're gonna take this nice and slow at your own pace. Inhale and exhale. We're going to slowly transition our body into a cobra stretch also known as a seal stretch i want you to bring that shoulder up out of your shoulder joint keep that chest propped up high and feel the stretch in your abs and your obliques while taking a few breaths here we're going to shift our weight to our knees and to our heels and go back into an extended cat stretch so drop your shoulders keeping a little bit of tension in your armpits and push back we're going to repeat moving forward and back a few times at your own breath. Coming out of that stretch and back onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position, we're going to go into a downward dog. Tuck your toes under and with your hands, you're going to push your shoulders up, lifting your butt and pressing back through your hamstring and into your heels. You should feel a stretch in your calves as well as your hamstrings as you hold this for a few seconds. Then moving back forward into a tabletop position, you're going to repeat this. We're going to move into a lunge to ham hamstring stretch. This is personally one of my favorites. We're going to start off by placing your right foot up on the ground and your left knee down. You're going to lean forward into a deep lunge stretch, making sure that your knee is not going past your toe. From here, we're going to shift our weight backwards, bringing our bum back into the heel behind us, straightening the knee in front of us into a hamstring stretch. Repeated this a few times before switching to the other side. Moving on to my other favorite stretch, this is the lying hip opener stretch. I am lying on my back with my elbows on the mat so that my chest is off the ground. From here, I am bringing one knee up to my chest and opening it out sideways, making a semicircle and bring my feet together. You can do one side at a time or you can alternate sides. Make sure you're keeping your chest up and not letting your shoulders sink into the ground. The next stretch is a really good mobility exercise to do to improve your hip flexor mobility so that you can squat deeper and feel a lot more mobile in the hips. It's called the 90-90 stretch. I'm going to let the video do most of the explaining, but what you're really trying to do is bring both knees out to one side as close as you can towards the ground while keeping your hips maintained straight forward and then switching over to the other side. Go nice and slow and as you do it and as you continue to do it, you will notice that you are going to be able to bring your knees further towards the floor as your body starts to open up. The next one you're 
going to stand up so that you are standing on your feet then getting into a deep squat with your hands placed on your feet you want to use your elbows to push your knees further apart so you feel a stretch in your inner thigh as well as your hips from here in your exhale breath you're going to straighten those legs as straight as possible while maintaining contact with your hands and your feet and feel the stretch in your hamstrings While maintaining in that deep squat position, I am bringing my hands together into a prayer position so that I can press against my knees outwards and I'm shifting my weight from one ankle to the other to stretch more of my hips as well as my ankle flexibility. We are almost at the end, I promise. This one is a side lunge with reach. In the first few times, it's gonna feel a little bit awkward and you're going to feel quite stiff. So take it as though as you can and go deeper into it as your body warms up. You're gonna reach over to one side into a side lunge. From here, bringing the opposite arm over your head, you're going to go into a side stretch. So you feel the stretch down your lats as well as the side of your body. Then you're gonna come back into standing starting position and repeat this to the other side. The very last exercise is lying wall angels. You've probably seen these performed against the wall, which you can completely do, but I'm gonna do mine lying down. You're going to bring your elbows to your side, trying to maintain contact in your wrist as well as your elbow while keeping your body flat on the ground. You're gonna bring both arms over your head, straighten both hands so that they are glued right next to your biceps and bring it back down. You're going to notice that if it is a bit challenging, your elbows or your wrists are going to raise up. That's okay. Just keep practicing and eventually you will get to a point where you're able to lie flat with both elbows and wrists touching during the whole movement. I hope you guys enjoyed this or this is somewhat helpful for you if you notice that a lot of the exercises were a lot harder than you thought then that's your cue to do this a little bit more often and really incorporate this into your day-to-day -day routine or even your weekly routine if you like these follow along videos make sure you give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video from me and i'll talk to you guys next week bye